everyone, Scott and Collier, West Ham Fan TV. Welcome to the big match preview. We take on Leicester City Sunday, five past two kickoff at the London Stadium. Looking to do the double over Leicester for the first time since the 1999-2000 season. Um, obviously, earlier on in the season, West Ham triumphed 3-0 against Leicester. One of probably the best performances of the season and definitely our best performance against Leicester over recent years. Sort of played him at their own game, caught him on a break and didn't really allow him. Their top man, Jamie Vardy, I think had less touches than Fabianski, who was playing in goal on the night. So it shows you how well we actually played in this one. But for us to do that, we need to improve a bit. You know, Leicester, they're no mugs. They are a good side. They're having a fantastic season. And some of the mistakes we made against Wolves, we can't afford to make against them. As I said, you know, again, comfortable in the game. 3-0 up, looked like we're cruising. And then we let Wolves back into the game, as we did in against Arsenal. Let them uh, give them a goal before half time, pressures them back on us, and we just can't seem to kill off a game. Excuse me, you know, we rolled our luck a little bit towards the end in the Wolves game. Maybe you could say we, we were unlucky not to nick a fourth, but the problem is, is we need to start putting these games to bed. We can't keep going into these, these matches, given the, the amount of opportunities that we're giving away to the teams. Sooner or later, it's going to come back and bite us on the backside. So, you know, there's a few individual errors that led to the goals. There's a few um, performances that need to be put right. And especially the fact that we only seem to be playing in, in spells, in halves. You know, it was half hour against Arsenal, 45, what, 44 minutes against Wolves as well. We need to turn this consistency and get going and play for at least, you know, 80 of the 90 minutes, so to speak. But as I said, it's going to be a tough game, going to be an interesting game. I expect it a very, very good game. Both teams, fantastic form, losing two of their last six fixtures. Leicester, have yet let to, <laughs> Leicester are yet to lose at the London Stadium. And when you look at their form so far in the league this season, they've only lost once away from home in the league. You know, so it's going to be a very, very tough ask. You know, we've got a decent home record. We've only lost twice since October at home. You know, so we will be confident going into this. But with our record against Leicester, you know, the last five meetings we, um, at the London Stadium and at Upton Park, we haven't won. So that is going to be a very, very worrying statistic going into this game. Something that we can put right. Um, you know, getting a victory is going to be made a lot harder. We've obviously, we've lost Antonio to injury now. You know, he joins the likes of, uh, of Bonner and Yarmolenko on the sidelines. Hopefully, you know, we may, I'm still, I'm filming this on Thursday night. We haven't had the official team news out yet so fingers crossed Ogbonna and Yama could make it back Ogbonna for me is the one he's the key you know for us in that defense we need to get him back in there especially with Declan Rice missing as well you know we're a bit bare bones at the moment so we need to see some of these players returning returning quickly and hitting the form like Masuaku did Masuaku's first game back carried on from where he left off in my opinion so you know that's what we want to see from um, Ogbonna when we look at the injuries for um, Leicester they should be without uh, Harvey Barnes and um, James Justin. Um, they have got Pereira and Madison pushing for starts. I think they returned um, in substitute appearances against Manchester City last time out for them. Um, as I said, individual errors need to be cut out. Diop needs to strengthen up for me. I, I criticised him a little bit on um, post-match pint for the error for the second goal. A few other people thought it was a bit of Creswell, but... You know, I watched the goal back. I do think um, Diop takes a lot of the blame for that. And he's one of the ones I think are going to be key in this game. We need him to step up. We need him to have a good game, especially with a Bonner missing. You know, he needs to... Dawson was on his case. Dawson was trying to get him rolled up. Crowell to get him, you know, into the groove, so to speak. And that's what I want to see from Diop. He's going to be up against, um, obviously, Jamie Vardy and Indian Atro. He's hit a bit of form so far this season. So it's going to be very, very tough. Um... Obviously, a big game for Bowen as well. It's probably likely that he'll step in um, place for Antonio, who's missing. Be interesting to see whether Moyes goes for a Bowen, Lingard, and Ben Rama front three, you know, which I could see causing the Leicester defence a few problems. A lot of pace there, a lot of skill, a lot of trickery as well. You know, Bowen come on, took his goal very, very well, caused Wolves problems. So, you know, he could be key going into this game. One of the Leicester players to watch for me is Perez. Um, <laughs> Surprising player for me to pick out when you've got the likes of Vardy and Nacho and Madison. But Perez has been involved in six goals in his last seven games against West Ham. So he is going to be the one for me we need to keep an eye on. He seems, you know, you have these sort of players who who, who have a team they favour to play against. You know, Perez seems to be one of those that likes playing against us. So he's the one for me to watch in this fixture. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you check out all our other videos. We will be around me and... Um, 
There'll be Friday night pint if this goes up uh, beforehand. As I said, I'm filming this on Thursday. There'll be uh, the uh, the big match build up with me and Ryan uh, before the game on Sunday. Then we'll hand over to Nikki and Dan for the watch along. Then we'll be filming post match pint afterwards. Probably be me, Ryan, Nikki, and Graham for that one. Also, the fan cams. You want to have your say? Get involved after the game on a fan cam. Get in early. We do have a lot of people who come forward, and we're trying to cap it between five for a late night game and probably ten fan cams for a weekend fixture. So get yourself in early. Get you know just uh, DM us on Twitter. And then we'll get you put forward for a fan cam. As I said, thank you very much for watching. One thing left to say, come on you irons.